Hi guys, I hope you've enjoyed the other videos I've done of the iPhone 4S. Uh, I just thought of another thing I can do with this, but before I start, I'm just going to show you that this is an iPhone 4S. It's running uh, Siri. Um, so I downloaded this app um, called Pi. Okay, so this calculates uh, many digits of pi. Okay, you can choose how many digits you want. And this is traditionally a good way to uh, measure processing speed in, uh, in computers, okay? But uh, it, it lends itself really well to this application. So um, just kind of wanted to uh, give you an idea what kind of results uh, was, I, I get uh, using this. So let's go ahead and um, I'm going to set this to 32,000 digits of pi, okay? And I'm going to hit calculate. So this basically starts calculating um, 32,000 digits of pi and displays them on the screen for you so you know that it's actually doing it. Uh, I suppose that's why. <laughs> so it's at 4.64 and I ran this a number of times. I get that exact same number when all the processes in the background are dead. So 4.64 seconds, okay? Now to give you an idea, this is an iPad 2. Um, and it's I, I'm actually filming this on another iPad too. This this happens to be my girlfriend, so I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing here. Uh, it looks like it doesn't have. Okay, so let's go ahead and thirty-two thousand would be for some reason. Well, close enough. There we go, 32,053. Okay, uh, apparently the keyboard doesn't work too well on this app. So I'm going to go ahead and hit Calculate Pi. <clears throat> and let's see how long it takes. So 4.64 on the iPhone 4S. And 3.75 on the iPad 2. So the iPad 2 is faster processing. Um, as far as this app is concerned, and again, I ran that several times on the other uh, on the iPhone 4S, and I got that same result. And let's just try it one more time: 32,000. And calculate pi. Three point. What was that? Three point. 3.72. Okay, so it's considerably faster, almost a whole second faster from 4.64 to 3.72. And just to give you an idea what that looks like on a PC, uh, this is my this is my Lenovo ThinkPad uh, T420, and it's got a i5 2540 CPU with 8 gigs of RAM. It's a 64-bit system, and it's a uh, quad core processor, but I've, I've got HyperPy here, which is a great program. Uh, there's the SuperPy and there's HyperPy. The difference is that you can run it from multiple processors here. I've chosen two processors at 32K, and when I hit start, you know, it gets done in 0.343 seconds. That, that doesn't mean anything, okay? Uh, it's not for comparison, really. It's just to kind of show you, uh, give you an idea of what. Um, uh, what that process is like. Uh, obviously, you can't compare a mobile processor to um, uh, that laptop processor. Uh, it, they just don't do the same things. Uh, just just so just so we get a good peace of mind here, I'm just gonna run it one more time. So let me let me kill this. And 32,000 calculate pi. I hope you can see that. Four point six four. I mean, it is dead accurate every time. That's exactly the number it comes back with. Um, no reason to think that. Um, it shouldn't. What I'd love to see is some numbers for the iPhone 4 or the iPhone 3G or the 3GS. So I'm going to leave the um, related uh, videos link open on this and um, have you hopefully um, send me um, some links 
uh, to put on related videos. If, if I don't get any, I'll try to compare this myself later on when I get uh, a hang of, uh, a hold of um, an iPhone 4 or a 3GS or maybe even an Android device. I'm not sure if this same app is available on Android or not. But uh, it would be cool to uh, compare them. Anyway, thanks for watching. Um, please um, leave comments. And if you can think of better ways of doing this, if there's better apps you want to suggest, I'd be more than happy to uh, look into it and maybe do it for you. And, um, and also, please uh, click on some of these links so you can uh, support these videos. Thanks. Bye.